I think Google is uh, really taking advantage of a lot of people, and I think that's a very serious thing, and it's a very serious charge. I think what Google and what others are doing, if you look at what's going on at Twitter, if you look at what's going on in Facebook, uh, they better be careful because you're, you can't do that to people. You can't do it. We have tremendous, we have literally thousands and thousands of complaints coming in. And you just can't do that. So I think that Google and Twitter and Facebook, they're really treading on very, very troubled territory. President Trump in the Oval Office just moments ago calling out Google after tweeting out earlier today that Google searches are rigged to show unflattering negative stories about him. Google firing back, saying we're not doing any rigging. They told Fox Business they don't have a political agenda. Watch. Search is not used to set a political agenda, and we don't bias our results towards any political ideology. Every year, we issue hundreds of improvements to our algorithms to ensure that they surface high-quality content in response to users' queries. We continually work to improve Google search, and we never rank results to manipulate political sentiment. Google parent company Alphabet stock did drop right after White House Chief Economic Advisor Larry Kudlow said that the White House would look at whether Google and other search engines should be regulated. It ended down for the day. Let's bring in America Majority founder and CEO Ned Ryan. Okay, Ned, here's the thing. Google says its algorithm prioritizes high quality content. That's Google saying that. You have Trump on the one hand, on the other side, being criticized for positioning himself as pitted against an array of villains who oppose or obstruct him. The press, the courts, the Justice Department, now Google. What do you say? What do you think? Well, I think there's two solutions here, Liz. First of all, it comes down to how things are defined. Again, Google defining what they consider good news sources. I think what Trump needs to do is say we have to define these social media and tech companies properly because I think they've been getting away with a lot because they have not been considered publishers or telecommunications companies. And I think when, you, when you're when you publishing live content, when you're creating that content, when you're laying broadband, deploying broadband, uh, I think you need to be considered telecommunications companies and publishers. So go back to the 1996 Telecommunications Act, say there's no Section 230 uh, exceptions anymore, and now they get to play by all the same rules as everybody else, and they have the same oversight and the same regulation. And the second thing I think we've got to start thinking about, Liz, because that dynamic, that Section 230 is such a vague and gray area that's, that's basically given them little to no oversight or regulation, they have gotten immense market share and power, and I think they've become monopolies. Yeah, and let's not forget, when Ronald Reagan was confronted with AT&T, he broke them up, and I think it served the American people well because it gave them better options and better service. Well, you know, Google's in a lot of 401ks. Uh, people would push back on that idea of, you know, breaking it up. And who's going to do that? The Google czar? I mean, in government, that's the other side of that argument, Ned. Uh, the thing is, I mean, you know, with Google, the other argument against Google, to your point, is that Google and other social media, they get a free ride taking other media outlets' content and basically getting users for stuff they don't have to pay for, like the reporting and journalism there. What's your take on all that? You really think that the government, we can have a Google czar here? No, I think what we need to start, uh, start really exploring is, again, is the Internet a public utility? Who's going to be controlling that information? I have to tell you, Liz, I'm not sure I have a really good answer to that because I don't trust either the private companies and I don't trust the government. But we've got to start having this conversation. Who's going to control yeah. that flow of information to make it as free as possible, though, at the end of the day? A uh, high-quality algorithm content, that sounds like they're making choices there. Ned Ryan, great to see you. Come back Sorry. soon.